now how these rules are these apron rules mm-hmm. first and second apron i feel like i'm like a weatherman saying like there's a hurricane coming <laughs> like i'm telling everyone and everyone's like no it's not gonna hit shore and i'm like no it's going to hit shore now it's like okay we want to keep og we want to keep isaiah can we do it mm. can we do it and go into the apron or can we do it? And now all of a sudden now it requires us to move Mitch and maybe you have to attach something to it. Or maybe you just, you have to shed. Maybe we have to do something with Boyan mm. because what happens is let's just play devil's advocate mm-hmm. and say like, you know, the, the roster stays intact. Okay. Mm-hmm. The only two guys, you add your two picks. Um, you don't bring back Precious and you don't bring back Alec Burks and Shake Mill and those guys, but you bring back OG and you bring back Isaiah and let's say their salaries are 50 combined $52 million next mm-hmm. year. And we're going to, and we want to keep Bowie on. We're guarantee his contract at the end of um, uh, June. I think it's the 28th of June. Yeah. And we're going to keep, um, we're going to keep Mitchell. And you're in a, you're in the second apron. Like you're in, you're in the second apron. You're not a luxury tax team. You're in the second apron. So just so just to just to confirm this, it, let's say they Isaiah and OG get the deals we think they're gonna get. Yeah. The Knicks are now in second apron territory. This is you haven't even extended Brunson, haven't even extended Randall yet. You're in second apron. You're in second apron this year. Wow. You're in it. Wow. Now so that's yeah, one, one that's more. keeping so, boy on. That's keeping boy on. That that's guaranteeing the boy on contract. Now, would that prohibit the Knicks? Would those second apron restrictions be in place over the course of the this season coming up or would it be the 24 25 i mean the the following starting july 1 wow wow so, wow so you could get listen you we could, we could be in summer league on july 15th and you 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 could might say to me like man we got 194 million dollars in salary and we're 5 million over the second apron what does that mean to us well here comes the restrictions now right so this is what this is what mm. teams like minnesota are facing where you have the inability to take back more money in a trade, the inability to. So basically what happens with when you're in the apron, it, it basically eliminates all these different resources that you have to build out your roster. If you if the next disgruntled all star became available, if Giannis became available, I'm just hypothetically throwing this out mm-hmm. where you can not take back more money in a trade. You can't aggregate contracts. Those trade exceptions that you have, I think New York has three trade exceptions. Those are no longer available. Um, you know, the, the some of the other rules, you know, using your uh, tax mid level doesn't become available. Um, your draft, if you finish in the second apron after this, if, after the 24 25 season, your draft pick in 2032 becomes frozen. Mm. You can't trade that in a deal here. You know, yes, you have a lot of other draft equity that you've built here. But it just makes it extremely, extremely difficult as far as how you um, how you can add to your roster outside of your own players here. And you, mm. we saw, um, you know, Josh Kroenke, who's you know, um, you know, one, you know, his, you know, certainly his dad is the owner of the of the Denver Nuggets, came out and said, like, listen, we built that roster in Denver under different collective bargaining agreement. Mm. You know, yeah. Um, so it just makes it um, it makes it more challenging if if a, if a if New York, if that fifty million dollar player became available, and you're in the second apron, and then all of a sudden you're like, you know what, we got the salary, do it. You know, we could do Julius and um, um, Josh Hart. Mm-hmm. You know, forty six and fifty that gets you within there. No, you can't because you can't aggregate you can't those two aggregate. contracts, and now wow. you can't take back more money in the deal. Wow. So that's why. It, it used to be, as I said, like it used to be just going to James Dolan saying, hey, this was, it's going to cost us another $30 million in luxury tax. There was never those other layers of these restrictions that teams are going to be faced with here. Um, and that's why it makes you know the decision, you know, you traded for Boyan. I, he can help you. He can give you depth. Um, but it's like almost like teams are saying, you know what? You have too many toys. Instead of having eight toys where you're only have five now, 
you got to give three of those back. Right. Or you can, you can, you know, you can keep your depth, but it, it's going to cost you as far as how you're going to be able to maybe add something else to you. But yeah, those are, you know, I think, I think the Mitchell Robinson with two years left on his contract, um, the, you know, certainly from a health standpoint, uh, if you if you sign Isaiah, are you com- comfortable committing thirty two million dollars to your two centers? I mean, that's mm. those are some hard decisions that they're going to be faced with here. Wow, and, and so I mean that pretty <laughs> much me means that this is going to be a critical off season here. Oh, it's and critical. it's and they're not the only ones. So yeah, don't think yeah. you're like you know like. But here, this is why they're different though than other teams though, mm. is that you've got your draft equity. Right. You yeah. got two picks. You got two, three picks. You got two in the first um, 24 and 25. Okay. Young, inexpensive talent. You've got future. Dra- you've got all your own first round picks. You got draft picks from other teams here. So even if let's say you did go into that apron, you're not where Phoenix is. Okay. You're not where mm-hmm. Milwaukee is where you're basically relying on roster spots, six to 15 on guys signed to the veteran minimum contract. Yeah. And you're continually churning it out and you don't have any draft equity to either draft a player or to, to maybe use in it in a deal here. Good point. Good point. And there are rumors that they're trying to package 24 and 25. 25- 